What's up, my fire signs? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon in this bitch. Join me as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure you hit that description box down below and check out my website, LaRoseMoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, Spirit, you are welcome in to this reading. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, you must sage for the gods, baby. Let's see what's going on for the motherfucking weekend. We're going to start out with my Leos, okay? And then we're going to find out about, uh, you know, just get some overall advice. And um, then we're going to be finding out what's going on in your love life and singles as well, too. So let's see what's up with my Leo babies. Let's get the advice cards. Here we go, babies. What's the advice for my Leos for the motherfucking weekend? Give me three cards for my Leos. The advice for the weekend. All right, we got trust, Leo. Some of you guys might be changing your hair up, too. I do see her hair is looking vivacious, baby. But I'm definitely getting that in these situations and in these moments, you're going to have to trust what the universe has for you. Some of you guys could have blocked someone off or locked them out of your life. You got to reach out here. So I feel like the advice is to keep it like that. All right. Some of you guys might need to let go of a lot of toxic energy that's, you know, in your overall environment and the people that are bringing this toxic energy to you. It's also saying strengthening bonds. So there could be something that's coming a little bit closer. You got new vitality as well. So I'm seeing a lot of new energy come in for the weekend, especially if you let go of a lot of people that you weren't reaching out to or that you didn't want to speak with. Okay. So let's see what the romance angels have to say for my Leos. Give me three cards for my Leos in love. Here we go. We got free yourself, forgiving and learning. It's time to take back your control. And as you release and heal bullshit from the past, you experience more love in your present motherfucking moments, Leo. So there's definitely something here, okay, that some of you guys are undeserving towards as you release and heal from it. But I do get that you have a lot of romantic feelings. And at the bottom of the deck, you do have children. So there could be something going on with your children. So... Let's see what's going on to my Leos that are in love for the weekend. Here we go, babies. Leos in love. What's the messages? All right, nine of pentacle energy here. So doing your work independently, okay, fulfilling your own destiny and your own essence is what I'm seeing here with this nine of pentacles. Some of you guys definitely could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I'm also seeing the three of cup energy here. So I do get that there's a celebration that could be happening. Some of you guys could be having some drinks, okay? Sitting there with your family and friends. I do get that some of you guys feel like you want to get out. But to me, I feel like you're understanding your independence and also what values matter to your friendships, okay? But I do see a lot of celebrations here as well in your love life. You also have the seven of cup energy in reverse and the five of swords in reverse. So I'm getting that there could have been some sort of options or some limitations that were happening with multiple people that could have had some regrets or this could have been you just having this vibe of leaving a situation alone altogether. This is what that forgiving and learning is all about. Okay, so I do get that for some of you Leos. You're definitely letting go of a situation. It could be with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. You're removing that situation out of your energy. I do get with the chariot. You could be dealing with a Cancerian. That there's no movement, okay? But I also feel like there could be some things going on with a car or your car. With the chariot, knight of pentacle energy here. So just be aware of that. 
with this Knight of Pentacles, somebody is moving slowly towards you with loyalty. Okay, Leos. It could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Like I said, also Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But I'm also getting that somebody has some issues with, you know, the way that their approach is as well. Could be a, also a possible Taurus that's involved in your energy with this Four of Pentacles. But I do feel like with the Ace of Wands, you're going to have a lot of passionate, romantic feelings. Okay? And somebody's being very possessive and controlling in this situation. And I feel like with this Hierophant, Page of Swords, somebody's watching a union ship or a connection. Okay, but I definitely get that this could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that you might be dealing with, Leo. But I do get um, for some of you guys in love, you have a relationship coming up that someone's watching, even though you could be in your independence and feeling happy independently. I do get with the Ace of Wands, this is somebody who wants to bring on a lot of sexual energy here. Okay, so let's see to my single Leos. What's up for the weekend? You got the Ten of Swords in reverse, so definitely healing. Okay, you guys might be expecting some sort of love offer that could come your way with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm also getting there's something that's moving about in your energy that's making new opportunities for a lot of you guys. Even though you might still be healing from the past and getting rid of that old residual energy that could have brought on a lot of anger. Or I feel like there could be a possible Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that's coming into your energy that's kind of rushing your direction. Also Leo here with this strength, another Leo. But I feel like you guys are moving uh you know moving on along with this eight of cups okay taking your power back is definitely what i'm getting here for a lot of you leos you also have the ace of cups all right so i'm getting that somebody is definitely ready for that new love offer for the weekend for a lot of you all that are single okay so let's see what's going on to my eddies darlings what's up with my eddies for the weekend here we go, babies. Give me some advice for my Addies for the weekend. You have strengthening bonds and reaching out. So somebody might be kind of timid here or might be afraid to reach out, okay? But I'm definitely getting that um, for some of you guys, you might need to control your energy as you're blossoming, blossoming into something new, okay? I feel like um, some of you guys with control is taking back some sort of power, okay? That's definitely what I'm seeing here as far as the advice and taking some healing and love. You have the love energy at the bottom of the deck, so I'm seeing that there's some success coming in with love and also healing, even though there could be some challenging times, okay? So let's see what the romance angels have to say for my Aries for the weekend, babies. Here we go. What do the romance angels have to say? What's the messages for my Aries? You have Decepticons. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Okay. And you also have this could be the one and reconciliation and new love. Damn, it's all types of mixtures and minglings and things going on up in this motherfucker Aries. So I do get that for some of you guys. You might be seeing some deception in someone. But also at the same time, you could be seeing somebody's new energy. Okay. And having to figure out and shift through what you're going to trust. So, let's see what's up, babies. Let's see what's up to the ones that are in love. Here we go. You got you off top with the magician energy here. And also, queen of wands. Damn, in the middle of the deck. So, I definitely get that you guys are going to be all about yourself and manifesting this weekend. Let's see what's going on between you and your partner in love. For the weekend for my Aries. Here we go, babies. All right, so far we have the Seven of Cups in reverse. So I'm getting that you guys are definitely canceling out a lot of options, okay, um, and simmering it down to one. Some of you guys definitely could have been dealing with a greedy person or somebody who was keeping things to themselves with this magician and also with this Seven of Cups in reverse. I'm getting with this snake. You could have been dealing with a snaky person or somebody who wasn't being all the way honest, okay? But I do get that there's going to be a lot of communication for some of you guys that's going to come in love. Okay, they could be communicating some sort of truth. Also, with the Empress energy here, this is a new a beginning. Okay, that's probably why I was getting all kinds of fucking confusion. Nine of Cup energy here, also Empress and Five of Pentacles. So somebody's definitely wanting to come out of the cold and express their love and their gratitude. Okay, somebody could be cooking for you as well too, Aries. But I'm definitely getting a lot of communication coming in. Okay, so give me two more cards for my Addies. 
You got the hangman energy in reverse. Also, Ace of Wands. So someone's definitely got a new start. Okay, this is that new vitality, especially after you let go. So it, feel, it might feel like the split flop, okay, in love. Like you had to let go of a situation, but it brings it a new beginning because somebody's definitely having to go through their own characteristic change. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay, definitely could be dealing with uh, another Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Also Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries. So I'm definitely seeing a passionate new beginning, but somebody's going to be working on a new opportunity or a new um, beginning towards, you know, putting their best foot forward in a new direction is what I'm seeing in love. Definitely could be dealing with Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So let's see what's going on with my single Eddies for the weekend. Here we go, babies. Single Eddies for the weekend. All right, for some of you guys, you might feel um, really detached. You might feel as though there is a lot of fears that you might step into a new zone, okay? But I'm also getting with the Five of Cup energy here in reverse. You guys are letting go of a lot of weaknesses, a lot of things that you could have felt were hindering you or holding you back. And I also feel like with this High Priestess, you're becoming a lot of you're becoming and using a lot of your intuition, okay? You're becoming who you are with the star energy here. I feel like some of you guys are going to be seeing that there is somebody that wants to see you as a star or you are that star in their eyes. But I'm getting with the devil energy here. You're having to let go of a lot of truth, okay? This could be Capricorn energy and then you're definitely going to step into some sort of love because you are single. You're going to be finding out, even though there could be some fears in love, you're going to find out what's really important to you okay and what bring imbalances to you the reasons why you're wanting to be single okay but i'm definitely getting that you're dealing with family and friends or there could be a lot of family and friends that could be an interference between you being single but it's time to really get some messages out there or shoot some communication out there is what i'm seeing aries you could have some small offers coming your way or a little bit of flirtation coming your way as well too with that page of pentacles could be with a virgo Taurus, Capricorn, or are you getting out and about and meeting some new people? Okay. So, Addie's darlings, take care, baby. Y'all got love coming in. All right, here we go. Let's see what's going on to my Sagittarius for the weekend. What's the advice for my Sagittarius for the weekend? Give me three cards for my Sagittarius. Okay. We got just breathe. All right. So take some time to take a deep breath. Take a step back. Okay. To go into your inner self and really figure out how you want to approach situations. Okay. I'm definitely seeing that there could be an opportunity that's coming up as well too. And new vitality. You might have to trust what the universe is giving to you with this new beginning. Okay. Especially with um, the feeling of love. But I feel like what the, the advice is definitely to take a step back. Understand what opportunities that might be coming your direction and how you're going to execute them. Okay. That's definitely what I'm getting here with opportunity and new vitality. Could be somebody new trying to come in with love towards you. So let's see what the romance angels have to say, Sagittarius. Because I was getting, um, you know, a lot of jealousy cards, but also love that was coming in for you guys in April. So let's see what's popping for the weekend. Okay. So we got unrequited love. There's not enough attraction to keep this romance going and enjoying the bliss of holiday times together. So some of you guys might be dealing with that. That two different type of, you know, vice versa energies where there's a honeymoon, but you also feel like it's not enough love or somebody's not giving you enough um, to feel completed. OK, but I also feel like somebody's going to have to let go of those control issues here. All right. Letting go of what you can't, you know, what you don't want to allow. Just let go of that shit. Let people let it be known. But if they disrespect it, you know, keeping those boundaries up, but also keeping that freedom or those options or, you know, not, not having such a pessimistic mind about it. Okay, let's see what's going on in love with my Sagittarius for the weekend. Here we go. I definitely get that somebody is wanting to walk away with this Eight of Cup energy here, turning their back, telling somebody to kiss their motherfucking ass and keep it pushed. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. And I also feel like somebody is not going to let them, um, you know, just walk all over them as well, too, with this unrequited love. I'm getting scorpion energy here with this death. Okay, some of you guys might be going into a transformation of letting go of the things in the past that did not require um, or did not give you the satisfaction. Okay, but I'm also getting here 
Um, some of you guys could be dealing with a possible Cancer Pisces Scorpio, also another uh, Leo Sagittarius Aries. But I'm also getting that somebody's leaving a third party situation behind or you feel like you have to definitely control the situation with this uh, Queen of Swords, Sagittarius. Especially uh, with somebody who's guarding themselves or feel like they've done it all or they're doing everything that they possibly can. But you will also know when a person's not doing all that they need to, okay? I feel like some of you guys might have a little disagreement that might pop off, but I definitely get that love is coming in, okay? You got your energy with this temperance and also the ace of cups. So I feel like with this queen of wands and also the ace of cups and temperance energy you're going to bring in some sort of balance or there's a love opportunity coming towards you that's very passionate very hot but you have to let go of those control issues okay ten of cups so in love i'm seeing a lot of love and a lot of passion but you guys could have walked away from a situation okay i'm getting a lot of bipolar issues okay let's see about my singles <laughs> Let's see about my singles. I do feel like action is coming towards you. Um, such a Teddy's in love. Okay, this person's going to try to show you what they can. So let's see what's going on to my single such a Teddy's for the weekend. Here we go, babies. Ooh, Six of Cups. Could be somebody in the past that you're dealing with. I'm also feeling like there's somebody that's willing to move away or someone who could be at a distance here. Okay, but I'm definitely seeing that there's some truth coming into where the conflict might arise with the five of wands or somebody might be fighting for your attention. Okay, and it's coming out. That's definitely what I'm getting here. For some of you singles, you need to understand that you need to take care of yourself and stay in balance with yourself. You could be dealing with a Libra, but I feel like with the sign of pentacles, queen of pentacles, you're going to be all about your finances. Okay. You're going to be all about your business. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Because I do have the four of pentacles here in reverse as well. But I, I'm seeing that you guys are understanding your independence and letting go. Now, there might be some boredom. Some of you guys need to get some different hobbies or some other type of happiness coming in. <laughs> okay, but I do feel like balance is coming in very soon. Or justice is definitely going to take over. And the universe is going to show you how it's done. All right. All right, my loves. I do see some sort of, um, you know, attraction coming in as well. Okay, or somebody have an attraction towards you, Sagittarius. All right, my loves. I love you guys oh so much. I'm going to get on out of here. Make sure you check out my four questions for $25 down in the description box down below. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next motherfucking video. Peace.